the first things that I started noticing is that my orchids that were coming into spike started to show some signs of browning. Also, the ones that did come into bloom, they started showing some definite signs also. And the signs that I started noticing in the blooms were actually wilting and deformation of the blossoms. Also, I started noticing some heavy browning that was also going on in the petals as well. And majority of the blooms would actually blast. Even with my new acquisitions that I recently put in my garden, all of a sudden, the blooms just started prematurely wilting. These blooms only lasted about a week, and you guys know, these normally would last about a month to even two months. Spike after spike, completely fizzling out and aborting itself. And even when I watered my orchids, I noticed something definitely strange going on. The water that would actually hit the blossoms would turn brown. And so I started inspecting the blossoms just a little bit more closely. And I did start noticing these tiny, tiny insects on my plants. So I started taking a look at all of my flowers that were in bloom. And indeed, I did start noticing the same thing. And I've come to a determination that what I am dealing with is thrips. Okay, so the other day I talked to you about some hideous news that I discovered concerning something called thrips, such hideous little predators that can do so much damage to your orchids. And if you have not seen that video, please be sure to check that out because I did share some very important information on that video. And you can go ahead and click on this link right here and it'll take you directly to that video. Okay, so I told you that I was on a mission to find a way to eradicate these thrips insects from my orchid collection because indeed I'm bringing them in in winter time and I don't want them to be in a confined space and really let these insects run amok and take over in my orchid collection. So I only have probably about two weeks left to really try to get control over these thrips. So wish me luck. And right now I am on a regiment with this right here. This is Listerine, the gold variety. And let me tell you something. I did speak to a good old buddy of mine by the name of Stuart. If you guys remember, I did a video with him. He is Stuart from Mainly Vandas on eBay. And he did tell me that he's had these occurrences with the thrips insects on several occasions, especially during summertime, because that is when they're normally prevalent throughout the orchid community. So what he does to treat this thrips insect is actually use a substance called orthene. And orthene can be found in specialty shops, but I'm sure that you can also find them on Amazon and perhaps even on eBay. But indeed, he says that that is what he uses and it works 100%. Now, what I did ask him, because you guys know I love my friendly little critters that are in my garden. My lizards and my frogs are my friends and my companions and I don't want to cause them any harm. He did state that they do not harm lizards and frogs so indeed that is a good thing. And if this Listerine does not work I will be resorting to the orthene. And folks, I think, you know, one of the best things to do is preventative methods to keep these insects back and at bay. Because that's what I was doing. I mean, this is the very first time this has ever happened to me. And normally I will spray my whole entire garden down with Listerine at least once a month. And I've never had any problems with insects at all until this year, of which I was a little bit negligent and I didn't do what I was supposed to do with the Listerine and yeah, that is what I am presuming is the reason why these thrips is running a total muck. And I am so sorry for the noise, guys. You guys know anytime that I'm filming, that is when everybody else wants to run a muck. And you're going to hear all sorts of sound and noises. But you guys already get used to that. You guys know I fight through it. And I'm just going to go ahead and roll with the punches, okay? Roll with the punches. So anyways... That is what I am assuming why the thrips virus has just ran so rampant throughout my garden is I was not putting in place preventative methods. So that is very, very crucial and important. Okay, so I told you that I was in the lab trying to figure out ways 
to destroy and totally eradicate this thrips. Indeed, I have been. So I want to share with you exactly what I've been doing and what I found really works. Now, of course, it's a tedious task. You're going to have to be very vigilant and you're going to have to do it with each one of your orchids. But hey, it's another option to being capable of ridding yourself of these nasty little creatures. So I just want to show you all of the options that I can come up with. So indeed, that's what I'm going to do. Before we do that, though, before we do that, I have some more pertinent information, very important, very vital information to share with you about thrip. So indeed, more information for you right now. So yesterday we talked about thrips and I showed you some examples of what thrips can do. So we're going to start this off by showing you what thrips looks like. And if we take a look into the blossoms, you are noticing those black speckles. Well, those black speckles that you are seeing within the blooms and in the petals are actually the thrips insects. So as you can see, they are teeny weeny, very tiny, and indeed they can hide very well within the blossoms and also crevices of the leaves and also within the root system and in the media. And thrips are particularly fond of soft new growth and also the tender parts of the flower blossoms. And because there are about 6,000 different species of the thrips, they can vary in appearance and also in color, ranging from brown to white and also black. One single insect can lay up to 50 eggs, and normally it takes about one to two weeks for those eggs to hatch. So if you are going to treat the thrips, you're going to have to do an initial treatment, then wait about a week or two to get the hatchlings and treat it again. And just to be on the safe side, you can do yet another treatment and perhaps even once more. Just ensure that you have eradicated the entire thrips population. And if you do discover thrips within your orchid, it is very important that you react rather quickly as they can multiply at such a rapid rate. Orchids have been known to become completely infested with them, becoming seriously ill and sometimes even experiencing fatality. It is also said that they can be carriers of certain viruses and diseases because not only do they suck on the plant juices, but it is quite easy for them to transfer to other plants as well. Normally they can be seen running amok during the hot summer months. That is the time that you are going to notice that they are most prevalent in your plants. It is said that the best treatment for thrips is actually preventative methods. That means keeping your workspace and also your grow space extra clean. And it is especially important that you clean up plant material and debris as this is the prime environment for thrips to thrive. And here is another beloved that I recently discovered was infested with the thrips. As you can see, folks, if we take a close look at the actual bulb, you're beginning to see the sign that life and juices are being sucked right out of this Stanhopia. And also, if we take a close look at the leaves as well, you're seeing the browning of the infestation of this hideous, hideous thrips. And the way that I found out that this was infested with the thrips, I actually submerged this into water. The entire media was underwater. And all of a sudden, I seen a swarm, an army of thrips just scatter from everywhere out of this container. And I actually had to spray them down with Listerine. And fortunately, that Listerine killed them off. Now, I am not sure that this is totally without the thrips right now. Um, it just seems too good to be true. So I'm going to try something here and see if we can detect if thrips indeed is still in here. So here we are with a bucket of water and as I stated before it seems like the thrips they do not like being submerged in water. So you know what? I am completely going to submerge this in water and let it sit and then we're going to take a look closer to see if anything comes out. And folks, I am very happy to report that indeed they do not like to be submerged in water and they will come out and in the water they will surface to the top 
and of course they will eventually drown. These actually drowned pretty quick because I was trying to look for one that was still kicking, but yeah, I mean, they drown quickly. These are all dead now. So indeed, if you do not mind submerging your orchids one by one in, oh, there goes one right there. Did you see it moving? Oh, now you want to stop kicking about because the camera's on you, huh? He's like, Why don't you want to die in peace already? You already got the dude? Anyways, um, yeah, I did see it kicking. But again, they just drown so quickly. But they don't like being submerged in this water. So if you don't mind doing that to each and every one of your orchids, this is another way to definitely get these pesky critters out of them. So yeah, this works. But folks, you want to make sure that they're not trying to hide within these leaves either. Because I just found an escapee trying to hide amongst the leaves here. I don't know where he's at now, but I seen him! And we take no prisoners here. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this entire plant again down with Listerine. We are taking these suckers down, okay? You're going downtown, baby. So I'm going to go ahead and spray down all of the leaves. And I'm going to let this soak also all night just to make sure we get every last little critter. And then afterwards, I'm going to take it out of the media and we're going to put whole new media in there. Of course, I didn't take the media out beforehand because I didn't want those... Uh, squirmy things running around running amok all over my bathroom so yeah we decided to do it this way and there you have it folks even though I am going through my trials and tribulations it's all goody goody in the orchid neighborhood -y hoodie okay because I already told you guys I do have my faith system built up strong and I do walk by faith and not by sight so the mission definitely continues and you guys already know I don't and ever will give up without a fight and I'm hoping that you guys are sharing those same values because indeed if this is your passion if this makes you who you are and provides you with so much happiness then you indeed have to take a stand and fight for your beliefs and of course your orchids live love laugh and as always grow orchids ah!